Yeah, judging by my experience in labor circle and in the labor movement in Nigeria, I think uh, the time has come for me to be at the driver's uh, corner or sit on the driver's seat as far as uh, labor is concerned I do, under the umbrella of the Nigerian Labor Congress to lead the working people of Edo State to the desired Eldorado. For me, our past leaders and present leaders have done their utmost best. Now that the tenure of present leadership is coming to an end, I decided that there is the need for us to take labor from the 20th century properly into the 21st century as far as Edo State is concerned. It's becoming more crystal clear that uh, I am the bride that the working people in this state are wooing and whom they want to cast their vote for to lead them in the next four years. I'm not just only a bride to the workers in the state, both in the public and private sector. I am a bride, so to speak, to the general people of the state. When I say the general people of the state, I'm talking about the artisans, the pensioners, the market traders, just to mention them. Going by my antecedents, both as a public and economic affairs analyst, as a former state secretary in the Nigerian Labor Congress, as a former state treasurer in the Nigerian Labor Congress, and my exploits in the public domain generally. So I consider myself and the chances of my union that I am standing in to fly the flag to be very, very bright come 25th April 2019. I'm going to take uh, a major leap from the foundation already laid by our present leadership in the state. And uh, we shall be carrying out some reforms. Reforms in the areas of uh, our relationship with uh, employers of labor, both public and private sector. Reforms in the areas of workers' welfare, remuneration, and conditions of service. Reforms that have to do with political structure in labor. Reforms in terms of administrative structure, reforms in terms of financial structure, and just name it. We are carrying, going to carry out all inclusive reforms for the next four years that we shall be in the saddle of the leadership of Congress. And uh, that is not to say that the past has not done meaningful things. They have done a lot of meaningful things, but we want to take it to the desired Eldorado. For workers, it is time for them to be happier, though they are happy, we want them to be happier by our coming in. The new minimum wage is coming up. We are going to ensure we negotiate a robust minimum wage for them. And I want to assure you that we want to deeply participate actively in policy formulation, actions and programs of government, because we are government. Those who constitute 98% in governance are the working people. In fact, even the governor of a state is a worker. Technically speaking, he's a worker. Though on the other side, outside the labor laws, he's seen as the head of the employer side, as part of the public sector. We are also going to governance the private sector employers of labor to ensure that the new minimum wage of 30,000 naira is implemented for the private sector workers. We want to ensure unionization of our members who are in the private sector where they are presently being deprived. We want to ensure that every union, as affiliate of Congress, has a sense of belonging. And we want to guarantee a situation whereby Congress don't go cap in hand, begging virtually every now and then for finances from other sources. By so doing, we want to explore the provisions of the Constitution of Nigeria Labor Congress so that we should, we should be able to have some elements of financial independence. I told you, government and the people they are all the same. Who is the government? People who choose to lead us. But if you use the, the term worker, everybody is a worker, even the government is a worker. So if you had the experience of labor calling people out and people are not following, maybe for reason A, B, C, you may also have had the opportunity of interacting with labor leadership to find out if the assertion that has been put forward is the correct position of things. But let me also explain to you right now that my government, by his grace, shall endeavor to form a very strong synergy with non-governmental organizations, 
civil society organizations. When I say civil society, civil society organizations that are not political, politically motivated, genuine civil society organizations, non governmental organizations, we are going to be interfacing with religious organizations and traditional institutions because our duties as labor leaders encompass all these sphere, spheres of society. Labor cannot stand it alone. So if you want things to work, you must be ready to carry all stakeholders along on issues of governance, on issue of security. Just mention it. In, or, in virtually, in virtually all issues of life, we shall all be going along. But don't forget, I must tell you, my principles will remain constructive engagement, constructive collaboration, constructive cooperation, and when it becomes inevitable, constructive confrontation.